welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hey my name is marisol and welcome to my channel so for today's video we're going to be doing a nice warm cozy fall makeup look um fall is literally right around the corner now so um i decided to create this fall look using the kylie cosmetics palette and the jeffree star palette as well so if you want to see how i recreated well how i created this look for fall um i have this fall look going on if you want to see how i created it keep on watching and i hope you enjoy okay, guys so i'm just starting off with priming my eyelids for all the eyeshadow we're going to be using so basically the concealer that i've been using recently is the elf hydrating camel concealer and this is how it looks I've been using this one for the past couple of months and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's a good dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It has the same formula and I feel like it just has the same consistency as well. And it also just blurs out like any blemishes, um, pimples or something like that you might have. It literally does the job. So this is the one that I've been using. So I'm just going to put a little bit of it on my eyelids. So we could go ahead and prime that eyelid. So I do want to say if you hear like some rain in the background or like some little drizzles, uh, don't mind that. It's currently raining here in Houston, so um, we kind of have a storm on our hands. So it's just been raining all day, but I really wanted to film this video, so just don't mind that if you hear the rain. But right now I am just blending it out and I'm blending out with this brush. I got this like a while back. Um, I don't remember exactly what brand it's from, but it's a really good like concealer blending brush and it's in it's in the brush style 110 if you guys can see that and it just has this like good night design and it's just like kind of like harley quinn type of design but i'm just using that brush to blend out the concealer. go ahead and pick up my blending well the first brush we're going to be using so let me go ahead and get that one okay so the first brush we're going to be using is the Wet n Wild Blending Eyeshadow Brush. So this is just how it looks. And this is the brush itself. So I'm going to put tape on my eyelids so I can get that wing effect on my eyeshadow. Okay guys, so we look a little crazy right now, but don't worry. It's all going to come together once we do the eyeshadow. Right, we have our tape now. And the first palette... I can't feel my eyes, y'all. The, the first palette that we're going to be using is the Kylie Cosmetics. And this is, I believe this is the Burgundy palette. So this is the packaging. And this is the inside of the palette. So as you can see, this palette has a couple of like burgundy. It has the burgundy there. It has two browns. And it just, it screams fall to me. So that's why I chose this palette for this look. And since it is a beginner simple makeup look, you do want to choose a palette that you're comfortable with working with darker eyeshadows. Just so you don't feel too overwhelmed with the blending or anything. So this is a palette. So the using. first shade that we're going to take is Naked. So we're going to take Naked right here. It's this shade right here. And we're going to be starting that one off on our whole eyelid. So... Just tap a little bit of that off. You don't want too much on the eyelid. And we're just going to pack it on there. So I chose this eye this um shade first because it's like a perfect brown, like gray shade. And I feel like this is going to look really good with the burgundy that we are going to put on once we are done with the shade and the next color we're going to be using is penny penny is a cute little orange and she's like a little burnt orange we're going to be using the shop miss a um e129 brush this is how it looks this is cute pink so we're going to be using this brush for penny so we're just going to grab a little bit and this is going to add more depth to this part of our eye and overall i really like the shadows on this kylie palette because i feel like they are really pigmented and they're not hard to blend at all and i feel like these colors you can either use them like on an everyday look or if you're doing you know more uh dramatic looks but like i said it's perfect for either either or so Okay y'all, so once we're done with Penny, this is where we're going to start including some browns, okay? So we're going to go over and switch to the Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette. So this is Morphe times Jeffree Star. So we're going to incorporate this palette into the look. 
and this palette has a couple of more vibrant colorful looks but we're going to go ahead and use this one right here this brown right here we're going to go ahead and use her and her name is hi dude so we're going to go ahead and use hi dude so okay so going is... back in with the wet and wild brush we're going to go ahead and pick up that color really pigmented she's pigmented now we're going to go ahead and put her again on the outer edge oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so this is creating that like really pretty burnt effect right here that's what i like so we're just blending that in so you see how the eyeshadow just glides onto the eye that's what i like in a makeup palette i feel like these this um the jeffree star palette all his palettes in my opinion have really good pigment i feel like the shadow just glides right onto the eye and it's really easy to blend it doesn't cause you any trouble or anything of that kind so we're just taking this shadow and just blending okay, it. you guys so this is how the makeup look is looking so far the eyeshadow look is looking i really like it i feel like we're definitely going for the fall vibe right now so now that we have hi dude blended we're going to switch our brush and i'm going to take another shop miss a brush and this is the ue 126 brush and now i'm going to go ahead and take uh boss angeles right here so we're going to go ahead and take this pretty pumpkin shade right here and we're going to add her into the mix. I'm going to get close to y'all. And oh yes, honey. This is perfect. So we're blending her into the mix. And when doing eyeshadow, make sure you blend, 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 blend your colors. Because you don't want to look like they're crayon colors. And you just mix them all together. You want to make sure you blend that together. So it just looks really creamy and just mixed well together. Okay, so I'm just patting my concealer down where I cut it. I feel like cut creases can be really tricky, especially if you're like just beginning in makeup because when I started makeup, cut creases were freaking hard to me. But I feel like the trick is just to really take your time doing these. And actually don't try to like do your, the whole circle, you know, like do little strokes. And we're going to go ahead and pat the concealer down because we don't want no patchy concealer when we put our topper on. Go ahead and take my Wet n Wild brush again. And without putting any product on it, just shaking a little bit of the excess, we're just going to go ahead and blend the top of that out because we don't want the concealer to show like at the top we just want that to be blended you know i added custom rims already to the inner edge of our eyes and i really like the combo of the silver with like all the browns that we have but we're going to go ahead and take it up a little notch we're going to go ahead and use la from the kylie palette and she's like a really pretty browns golden eyeshadow so we're going to go ahead and take her and we're going to add her towards the end of it so it looks really bronzed here and where the silver and the bronze meet is just going to look really really pretty so that's where i'm taking this eyeshadow going to look like they collided together which is the point of this so i'm just gonna go ahead and add the mascara and curl my eyelashes this is a very important step when adding eyelashes because you don't want your natural ones to look weird just there you know under the eyelash so you want to make sure they blend y'all i'm looking at this eyeshadow look and oh my god it's cute like i did that i did that with the, with the tape so now you just want to grab your eyelash curler and go ahead and curl your eyelashes and you don't want to curl them too much because you are going to be adding lashes on top but you do want to curl them just enough so it looks all blended together so let me go ahead and uh, add some glue to that so i'm gonna be putting the eyelash on now 
Okay, y'all, so we have the lashes on, and I definitely love these lashes for this look. I feel like it just gives it a much more, like, sexy eye look, and it just makes the eyeshadow really stand out because since they're not, like, really dramatic lashes, it makes your eyeshadow just stand out, and you can really see all the blending that we did. So, that's a good thing for this look. So, now I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup, and... I'm just going to go ahead and just speed through that because this was focusing more on the eyeshadow than the whole face. But um, basically, I'm just going to go ahead and do my whole face makeup off camera and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, guys, so I just finished the whole this fall cozy warm makeup look basically i just finished the face and then i finished the lips as well so now i'm going to go ahead and add a bit of that eyeshadow that we have left over on our brush and i'm going to put that under my eye so i'm just going to take a little bit more burgundy i'm just putting that under my eye right now like that and this is just going to create a bit more hue under the eye and it's just going to make the whole eye look look even better than what it is already go ahead and put some mascara on my lower eyelash line and i definitely love how this whole look came out it's very fall very cozy um it's very simple to do it's not hard at all and honestly like even if you're going to take some pictures inside you know your house right now you're going to look like the cutest cutest fall little pumpkin on instagram because honey this makeup look is gorgeous so pretty much that sums it up you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial i hope you guys um got to see the palettes if you have not already the kylie cosmetics palette and the jeffree star palette i hope you guys got to see them the shades and i hope you guys got to see them in action because i definitely love these shades for this eyeshadow look so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you want to see more makeup looks go ahead and let me know make sure you comment what you thought about this look i thought it was pretty cute very simple for fall but still adds that touch of um glamour to your subscribe to my crew we're at 110 subscribers thank you so much so make sure you keep subscribing and with that being said you guys i'll see you in my next video bye y'all